Hi everyone, Andre here from Vault Safety again with another virtual rep video. So what I want to talk to you about this month is LV Rescue Kits. So most people know LV Rescue Kits, you know you need to have one. Uh, know that uh, if, you're, if you're a distributor or a wholesaler, you know that a lot of people buy them, but you might not know the ins and outs of them. So I just want to tell you a little bit more about them. Uh, this is our kit here, it's in a nice heavy duty bag, uh, but what's most important is inside. Uh, speaking of our bag though, uh, pretty good little feature that ours have is this LV Rescue Kit uh, writing on it is reflective so it can be seen in the dark which is a good safety feature and it's also a really tough heavy duty bag uh, which is also waterproof so it doubles as a water bucket uh, if a victim has, has burns. So uh, back to the product itself, the things you find in an LV Rescue Kit, number one, uh, probably one of the most important is a pair of uh, insulated gloves. So with all our products, um, they'll come tested just before dispatch. Uh, it's important that these are class O uh, and that uh, generally they should be size 11 as well so that anywhere, anyone could wear them, uh, any, any rescuer, it doesn't matter what size hands, they'll fit in them. Uh, it also comes with an insulated rescue crook there which is uh, for getting a rescuer, uh, basically for the rescuer to get a uh, victim off a switchboard if they're hooked up. So the gloves are for the rescuer to wear. These are not working gloves. A lot of people get that mixed up. They go, I'll buy a pair of, I'll buy an LV rescue kit, that's good. Comes with a pair of gloves that I can use for working as well. That's not the case at all. The intent is that these are for a safety observer, observer uh, and a rescuer in case things go wrong. So don't use these as your working gloves, whatever you do. They're for the rescuer. This is for the rescuer as well. They put the gloves on, they get this and they will then uh, go and rescue a victim who might be hooked up on some live, uh, some live parts. There's a torch in there as well. The reason a torch is in there is if there's been an arc flash incident, there could be a lot of smoke, could have taken out the power in the building, some, anything like that. So if you're in a dark room, the rescuer, again, this is not for you to go fishing or anything like that. Uh, that's for the rescuer to be able to find their way around the rescue location and find the victim comes with a sign, that sign should be put up before you start working every time. So uh, if you are going to work on an, on, on an area, put that up so the rescuer knows where to turn off uh, to, to help you. Burns dressing, that's for in case the worst has happened, so to do some immediate first aid on burns. Uh, and also a fire blanket, so before you start treating the burns you need to put any burning clothing out. If you're wearing the right clothing, if you're wearing arc flash clothing or flame retardant clothing, that shouldn't be the case, it shouldn't be burning anyway. But if someone's wearing polyester or cotton, they will be burning, you need to put them out first. So that's what's in an LV rescue kit. Uh, very important, like I said, I guess the key point I wanna make in this, in this virtual rep is that rescue kit gloves are not working gloves. Don't use them like that. Um, it's very obvious when they are used. These should pretty much be pristine. Uh, that never used so it's pretty obvious when an LV rescue kit gloves are worn is that um, uh, yeah but they're, they're, they're dirty you can tell so uh, don't do that they're just there for rescuers um, like all our products are range available through a range of uh, distributors electrical wholesalers and resellers so if you're unsure where to get anything check our website the where to buy page uh, plenty more products to come and uh, keep an eye out for these virtual rep videos thanks